Hey everybody. I can't tell if I'm sideways today because it doesn't look like I'm sideways. I might have to stop, stop this and try again. Kelly, okay, Kelly, which way am I facing? Can you tell me? I don't know which way this is facing and I don't want to have it the wrong way. I'm trying to remember what Johnny taught me last week. Am I sideways, Kelly? Like long? Or does it look, let's see, what happened when I bring you on? Hang on. I was like the wrong way. Ah! We're the right way! Are we the right way? Because you still look like a little square box to me. You don't look next to me. Well, I'm not next to you. Oh, man! I'm still a square box, but you're sideways. Like the wrong way? Like, am I this way? No, you're the right way. I am the right way. You're, you're the right sideways. Box, though. Did you invite her? Yeah! Well, you. I clicked the join button. Still Technical difficulties. This is so fresh because Johnny took like 20 minutes with us last week and showed us and <sighs> That's okay. I really want you to be next to me. I am next to you. Look. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in your face. Oh man, I didn't, I cannot figure out how to do this. This has got to be Can so you hear me okay? I can hear you fine. I don't I'm in my bathroom. And you're propped in my bathroom closet. Yes. Make and do. How are you, Kelly Book? I'm awesome. How are you? I'm so excited to talk to you. I'm excited to talk to you. So I miss excited. you. I know. And Rob's here, too. Hey, Rob. A long time no see. Hello. It's been no too ruby long. for you. What'd you say? What'd you say? No ruby for you guys. Sorry. We were hoping, but then it's also nine. So, like, but listen, <laughs> she's gonna... I have all this beard. She just wants to Aww. grab it. So, no, and that's, okay, so I met Kelly um, at our company's annual convention two conventions ago. Um, there was this place where you could go and get refreshments, and I had actually been, this is so creepy. So I, I can't believe I'm saying this. I had been, um, like, kind of fangirl, like, Facebook stalking Kelly because she made these, like, very, very, very emotionally raw posts and and I would sit and I would be like scrolling through Facebook and it would be in black and white and you would see Kelly's eye and she was crying and then she was she was talking to everybody about the experiences that she was having postpartum and and the difficulties she was going with and like I didn't even know her and I would read her stuff and cry oh my god because I remembered it and I think like all moms go go through something but Kelly just like threw it all out there and um, and then I saw her there with her beautiful, big, brown-eyed baby. And I was like, oh, my gosh, it's Kelly Book. And and then her baby, like, she let us hold her baby. And we were totally, I mean, we were, like, Facebook acquaintances, but we were pretty much strangers. And she was like, yeah, sure, hold my baby. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Oh, that's how I met Kelly Book. Super fangirl. <laughs> well, I had been following stalking you because I was – Following your story of how you guys moved and your travels and the hardships you were having with your son in school. And I was right there on the other side crying because it, every child deserves an education and one that is very empowering and impactful for them. And that was not happening. Mm -hmm. And I still don't know the details and that is perfectly fine with me, but it was there I was in Illinois and you were in Arkansas and it was just not a great situation. And so when we met, we were both crying. We were both like at each other. like, oh, no. And it, it's one of the best memories I will ever have. I agree. Ever. So, and then the rest is history. Yep. And we do have really good schools in Texas where we're at. I really enjoy the public school system. So different state, different school. Yeah, everybody should come down here. It's that. Everybody should come down here and it's not cold. Nope. So, there's that. <laughs> Although you're cold today. I'm standing behind Kelly's face. I, I know. Get over here. Go on the <laughs> Sorry. Well, when I do pop in, I will be over here. One of these days, I'm going to figure out how to do these things. I also have to kind of, like, kneel down a little bit. I feel, like, lean. Like, now you're... Head. That's why I have to do. I have to, I have to lean on the counter. Hang on, I can't hear. What did you say? And now your face is blocked by my head. 
Oh, here, wait. Oh, man, this one's a real hot mess. Yeah, and I don't know if Fernando... I don't know if Fernando got on. We're like ridiculous right now. Sorry. Yeah. So Fernando, okay. if you're on and I didn't see you because everything's sideways, I have to say I, hi, Fernando, I, my friend. I blog comments on my end. So if people are asking, I'm going to go back because otherwise I'm going to squirrel. That's a good idea. Um, can I do that after we've already started talking? Yeah, yeah like swipe this. left. No, swipe right. Oh, look at that. See, I still when you're wanna... sideways, swipe up. All right. So that's there how I met you. Which mm -hmm. is very, very cool. So we are equally Facebook stocky-ish. That's fine. Um, <laughs> what's your story? Why are you here? How did you get into this, all of this? Um, six years ago, I started using uh, products. Really? That are our company. Um, but they weren't our company. And they were inferior mystery liquids. I had no idea what I was doing. I was new. Just like everybody else that's brand new, you run out to Whole Foods, you yep. make your choices, and then you're like, great, I'm doing great for myself. Then I went to my cousin's house, and she's like, oh, you're all natural now. You should check this kid out. She drops a kid in my lap. And I was like, oh, this is awesome, but I could get all this for way cheaper because I know better than you. <laughs> and um, two years later, I ate my words at a 101 class, and... <laughs> I grabbed a kit that night, and I started the business the same day. Oh, wow. It, yep. Um, my enroller and her sister were there, and they were very convincing. <laughs> and I left the class feeling like the universe had delivered me something on a silver platter. And I felt so excited and so loved. I got added to all of our groups, and it was so welcoming, and it was this community that I tremendously needed. I didn't have a lot of friends. I, my purpose was kind of missing in life and I was just feeling lost. And all of a sudden it was like, Poof, you have instant community. Um, and then I went on a roller coaster of all the things. This is a pyramid scheme. No, it's not fool. Um, and so it was like this up and down roller coaster for two weeks of what have I just done? And oh my gosh, this is amazing. And finally, I educated myself quite a bit and really dove head first. And I come to find out this is other than marrying my husband and having our kids. This is the best thing I've ever done for my life. Oh. And here I am. It's been, it'll be three years uh, in early November that I've been part of this company. Oh, wow. Okay, so we're almost 20, because we just had yeah. our, our three-year anniversary in uh, <laughs> July, right? oil anniversary. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, three years. Yeah. So we're, we're, we're like, we're Irish twins. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> That's Sorry. awesome. And I, that is very relatable, because I, I everybody knows that we do network marketing, but I do think that a lot of people get very caught up with that, and they get a little bit weirded out by that, and they, they throw out that the pyramid scheme thing, and, and man, there's a video that we should link um, in the comments yeah. that talks about that. The cartoon? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. I like that. I'm going to write myself a note to do that. Good. Um, so, obviously, you are you're doing it, you, you love it, you have kids, because I spoke briefly about your daughter. Do you have, a, I feel like in network marketing, that people talk about a why or, or a reason why, why we're still here. Do you have a why? Yeah, ultimately, um, it's freedom. I need to, um, I need more time with my kids. These, uh, we, we talked about um, my daughter, who's almost two. We also have an eight-year-old son. He'll be nine in December. And I, you know, they grow so freaking fast. And I'm at a point where I'm like, I barely know this kid. I'm asking my husband questions <laughs> like, what, what about this? Like, I know my son and I love him, but I'm not getting enough time with him. And the time that I have with him Stinks. It is me um, rushed and yelling and hurry up. And this is ridiculous. I'm done. I'm done with it. it. So it comes down to freedom, you know, freedom of time, freedom of finances, because this is eventually going to replace my income. So, you know, we're going to be able to live 
a great life because of that. It's just, it's all about freedom. And that's so true. It's, and that's so relatable. Yeah. I hope people hear that. There's so many people living like that and, and they, they want something else and they just don't know where to look. And I mean, it's literally right in front of you. You yeah. just have to, to take a deep breath and jump in. Yeah. And the thing that's crazy is to start up with this is so affordable. It is so affordable to start up with this. Like the average startup for a business, like a brick and mortar is obscenely expensive. This is less than $200. You can start up with your business and it's with products that you will use and love for the rest of your life. I, it, like it blows my mind that everyone on the planet is not part of this. Blows my mind. I agree. I 100% agree. Thank you. <laughs> what has